This week is a pivotal week. Every few years we get something that affects the travel industry and the chat is all about it being the end. I graduated when the Gulf War started in 1990. I've been through that, 9-11, the ash cloud, the 2008 financial crisis. I was at Simply Travel in the 90s building a Corsican programme when Corsica was being bombed by nationalists. But still we grew. This week is pivotal because perhaps this is the first time the government has been open about the fact we're going to have to learn to live with this pandemic until a vaccine is ready. Those businesses that win through will be those that look at how they can do business differently. Simon Wolfson, the boss of Next, was talking on Radio 4 this morning about how the high street was going to see massive changes. And although there will still be a high street in the future, it'll look a whole heap different because consumers have learnt to shop online. If you have a shop in the high street or multiple shops, you'll be wondering what future they've got, how to staff them, what experience you can offer the customer, how you can service the customer if they don't come into your shop. We all know that, well, for now, wearing a mask is in, and talking is difficult. Now that both the customer and the travel agent has to wear a mask, then the process is even more difficult to discuss holiday plans face to face. And we know that the pandemic is changing consumer behaviour. It's not that the consumer doesn't want to buy a holiday or discuss their plans, although that might not be the numbers that we've been used to seeing. It's more about customers being put off by the idea of going into the high street location and talking with a mask on. So they'll look online. And this is what makes this a pivotal moment. If you're in a very fortunate position of having traded for a few years, you will have built up a good client base. Year on year, your income would have been fairly secure. For some travel agents, you may have relied on customers coming back to your shop without prompt each year. Sometimes you lost a holiday booking here and there, perhaps, because the customer had seen an advert in the weekend papers and called the number rather than wait until Monday to talk to you. But in the main, your business worked because you own the gold, the client database. Be under no illusion, this is pure gold. Everyone likes direct clients and operators have now realized that they can't get your clients direct because you offer too good a service. So despite the doom mongers, good travel agents have flourished, but will have to act now to continue to flourish. I'm a glass half full sort of a guy, uh, but I've got a strong message for you today because I'm worried. I'm not worried about you having a strong database of clients and I'm not worried about you doing a great job with them. I'm worried that those same clients will forget what you do for them. The barriers such as we can't go into town to see them or we won't go into town to see them to the, well, it's been so long, perhaps they're not even trading anymore. I can't find them online and they never email us. Why would they think this? Because for many high street agents, they've simply not managed to line up effective online activity with their offline shop business. Some agents see their website as sort of nice to have, something to be afforded in good times, sometimes just a vanity project. Look at the lovely holidays I sell rather than what can I do for the customer? So I'm worried that you might not know where to start with your marketing and selling for the next six months, that you don't have a plan of action in place because I think it leaves you exposed if you don't. I've started plenty of businesses from scratch with no customers, this one included. By far the hardest job is gaining that customer base, but you've got a solid one. And with your service levels, no one can take that away from you other than yourself. Your customer has to see that you're relevant to their holiday planning and buying. And if they don't, you'll probably lose them because they're not going to come into your shop in the near future. Agents using our email system, just as an example, achieve up to 40 to 50% open rates on email campaigns. Using that one simple system keeps you front and center of your potential clients. As small businesses, this can be a lonely time and sometimes it's good to get someone else's point of view. So how can I help? I know moving from reliance on a high street shop or shops to a more online focused marketing strategy can be daunting. But I know from clients who've managed this and run very successful agencies entirely off high street that it can be done well and be highly profitable. That's not to say they don't see their clients. They just meet them differently in shared spaces or home or online via Zoom. So I'd like to offer you a free strategic review of your marketing and what you've got lined up for the next six to 12 months 
together with a website review and provide a roadmap to ensure you're doing everything you can within budget to ensure that your business survives this current period and comes through stronger. No strings, no costs. At the very least, you'll have something to balance out against your own thoughts, and that can only hopefully aid your decision making. So if you'd like to do this, simply reply to this email and we can get the ball rolling.